We need Women's History Month. So we can remember all of the strong, unbreakable, empowering, disrupting women who play a vital role in history. We need to acknowledge the women, the relentless pioneers who didn't back down in a room full of men and taught us how to stand up for myself. Oh, perseverance. We are capable of accomplishing absolutely anything. How to fight back and how to not give up on the fight. This is a time for all of us to flex our feminist muscles. Something I knew I needed to do. When I started having sex, actually, I realized really early on that women were not treated the same that men were when we were confident in our sexuality. Watching my mother when I was younger, she was a single mom. She was a police officer. You can be a mother, you can be a working mom, and still be kind of like a superwoman. Women of color don't have the option not to be a feminist. Your whole life is fighting for your rights and that's so intertwined with your gender and your race and your religion. You can't not be a feminist. Make no mistake. Women have been contributing to culture, history, and society from day one. We wouldn't have society or humanity without women. But it wasn't until 1987 that we got a full month to honor those who paved the way before us. In fact, we initially only got one week to do this. In 1982, Congress deemed March 7th as the beginning of Women's History Week. Five years later, the National Women's History Project petitioned for a full month to properly honor our trailblazers. So we're always fighting for more time, more opportunities, more money, more recognition, more respect, more rights, and more autonomy. Really, more damn room to exist as an equal. And hopefully, by giving a nod to these icons, we can steer the conversation away from sexist remarks that we hear all the time, like, <sighs> ooh. I am so tired of someone asking me, why are you being so sensitive? Are you tired? Are you feeling okay? I get told I'm confident a lot, and I'm always like, oh, thank you. But when I think about it, I don't know anyone who would ever say that to a man. I hate when people assign the word women or woman to a job. It shouldn't have to be like that. If you're a woman who's a reporter, you're just a reporter. I'm tired of being asked if Muslim women have less rights, point blank. When are you going to have children? Are you ready to have children? Nobody is asking men how they're going to plan their career about when they're going to pop out babies. It's part of this bigger conversation of recognizing the privilege we don't have. Especially for Palestinian women, black women, queer women, Asian women, women with disabilities, indigenous women everywhere in the world, older women, women in sports, immigrant women of color, single mothers. As a white woman, I don't think that I'm in a position to kind of have an opinion about that. White women, like, we need to do better. So for 31 days, we will celebrate women. We will celebrate our power. Women who are doing things for other women. We are here for each other day in and day out. How far we've come with Me Too consent and seeing pieces like Harvey Weinstein being miserable at his trial. But we do have to recognize, even though we have come a very long way with our rights now, there's still such a long ways to go. We don't just want to celebrate Women's History Month. We need to.